Hello everybody and welcome to day three of this year's 100 day challenge of the exercise moves that you should be doing every day along with the scriptures that you should be consuming every single day. So today's workout move is a push up. Now here's one thing you need to stop doing in 2023 is telling yourself that you cannot do a push up. I don't believe it. You can do a push up. So don't tell yourself anymore that you cannot do a push up because you can and you're going to learn it and you're going to do it. Okay. You will get to a push up in 2023 if I have anything to do about it. And then the verse that I do with push ups, and I usually always combine them together now because anytime I'm doing push up, I'm thinking of this verse and it's James 4:10, which says, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. Or some verses say, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start on the floor. <laughs> we're going to be completely humble, laying on the floor here. We're going to put our hands down, palms down on the floor. You're going to get them around the level of your shoulders. You're going to press into the floor with the palms of your hands. You're going to press your toes into the floor. You're going to squeeze your quads. You're going to squeeze your glutes. You're going to exhale and press up. And there you are in plank. The very first beginning of move. Every push up begins with plank. All right, here we go. So starting over again, let's get here. Squeeze, make sure you're using your entire body, every muscle, your quads, your glutes, your core. Press, bring yourself up, and then just bring yourself back down. Okay, so we want to get to the point where you're able to get yourself up. Now, if this is not attainable for you yet, then you are going to start on your knees. But I see people doing the push-ups in so many funky ways that it's not uh, doing anything for your body. So what you're gonna do is do the same exact thing, but you're gonna stay on your knees here. So you're gonna press through your hands, press through your knees, you're going to squeeze that core, squeeze your glutes, and just push yourself up like this. So now you have a half of a push-up. So then if you're able to, you can bring yourself up into your plank from there, bring yourself back down and lower back down. So that's an option. Or you can just continue to do knees push-ups like this. What a, I see a lot of people doing on their knees push-up is doing this bowing thing where you're bringing your forehead to the floor like this. And then yeah, I see their butts going up like this. So that's not really working as a push-up. So if you want to do a knees push-up, you still want to be using all of your core muscles, all of your glutes and your quads. So you still want to be able to press through the palms of your hands, squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes, and press yourself up into, again, one straight line and lower back down. Bring yourself up and lower back down. And then as you start getting stronger, you can bring yourself up. And now we're going to start lowering ourselves from here, keeping yourself tight with your glutes contracted, your core tight, and then we're going to lower down all the way down and press back up. Okay? And that's your push up right there. As many as you can do. Now this is what I recommend is starting with as many as you can do on your toes and working your way, I mean, starting off with as many as you could do on, yeah, on your toes. <laughs> so start with as many toe push-ups as you can, and then take it to your knees. And then if you're still struggling on your knees, you can move to a bench like this. 
So this will bring you up higher. So it's easier to do a push up if you're up higher. All right. And then if you're still not at that level, you can take it to a wall and do your push, your push up at the wall. But again, you want to stay in one straight line. So again, you don't want to be doing this bowing thing. You don't want to bring your, your forehead forward. You want to stay in one straight line, press through your core and bring yourself up. Lower down, squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes and press away from the wall. All right. So those are the basics of the basic push-up. And it's so important to master the push-up because there's so many fantastic exercises we could do from the push-up once you've mastered the push-up. But there's no sense moving on and doing renegade rows or Spider-Man crawls or Spider-Man push-ups or one-arm push-ups or plyo push-ups, all those wonderful accessory exercises we could do if you have not mastered the basics of the push-up. So that's what I want you to work on this year. You can work on your push-up every day or every other day. But the first thing you have to do is to stop telling yourself that you cannot do a push-up and just get yourself going. And before you know it, you'll be up to 10, up to 20, up to 30, up to 40, and you will not even believe that you can get to that many push-ups when a little while ago you were saying, I can't even do one push-up. So I have faith in you, you can do it. So get working on it. And I will see you tomorrow for another move. See you then, bye-bye.